we're on the same page in terms of communication, dynamics in the room. Looks good so far. Great. Well, then, without any further ado, Jasper and uh, Yash, did I say that correctly? Jasper and Yash, the floor is yours. Good morning, everyone. Everyone happy to be here? Good morning. I'm Jasper. And I'm Yash. And I'm happy to see you all. Today, we wanted to have the opportunity to share with you some tips and advice uh, for those of you who may be less familiar about working with deafblind people and how we communicate using tactile ASL and other strategies that we felt might be useful for this group. And this is coming from a place of caring and respect for our language and the way we communicate. So we'd like to share some tips with you today to help us in our interaction uh, with each other. All righty then. Again, we want to create a, a space of collaboration that's paramount. So in order to do that, if there's any point in which you feel like I want to have a conversation with any deafblind individual, myself or Yash, please don't hesitate to come right up to us and actually physically touch us. It's not a startling thing. Introduce yourself. Uh, let us know exactly who you are, but initiate that by touching. And don't pause or use some of that default, um, what you might consider normative behavior. It's actually not. So please, insert yourself right into uh, our space. Exactly. Right. Another tip, in addition to that, is if you have a question, there's something you're wondering about that you would like to ask us, don't hesitate, feel free to do that. Don't ask a sighted person about questions you have having to do with our blind experience. Ask us. An additional tip is if we're in conversation in a group and you're needing to leave the group, please make everyone aware you can use the um, abbreviation BRB or Be Right Back, but to make sure that everyone is aware that you're leaving the group. Otherwise, we're unaware that someone has left the particular group. You can always use this gesture, which essentially means I'll be right back, I'm leaving the space, but I shall return. Again, this or that, which means I'm actually leaving and not coming back. Yes, so physical touch is important. Don't hesitate to use physical touch. And if you feel uncomfortable because it's new for you, that's okay. You know, just having a hand on a shoulder lets someone know you're physically present and makes us feel connected. We feel that you're there and we feel included in that way. In working groups, it's okay to go ahead and include us by using physical touch. Put your hand right over our hand. Put your hand on our shoulder. Let us know you're there and make us part of the group. Also, uh, there is no taboo about interrupting in mid-conversation. Uh, some of those norms in terms of turn-taking, when we're in this kind of intimate space, please, feel free to intervene, jump right in the middle of my sentence. Also, if uh, I am eating or something like that, feel free to continue your conversation. Also, otherwise, we would not know when is our opportunity to participate in the conversation. So just keep us included in the conversation and also included in what peripheral visual information is happening in and around us. 
And lastly, we appreciate that direct conversation. If you come up to us and you put your hands over our hands and communicate tactily, that's great. Keep in mind, though, if you start signing with the other hand that our, our hand doesn't have contact with, we're not receiving those signs. So that's a mistake that sometimes people make with two-handed signing. Keep in mind that one hand that uh, is being used for receiving tactile ASL is where the information needs to be. Also, if someone else enters a conversation, please just with one hand let us know that another person has uh, inserted themselves into the conversation, and that's totally fine. That's not necessarily considered rude. Just make us aware that someone else has entered the conversation. And we don't mean to overwhelm you at all. Uh, we're open to questions, and we're happy to educate you. We want you to feel comfortable, and we want you to be welcome into our world and to communicate using the way we communicate. And the more you do it, the more you'll get used to it. It will be become more natural for you. And you can use one-handed tactile signing, but you can also just put your hand under our second hand if you need to use two hands. That's fine, too. That's it for now. Those are your tips. We look forward to a great day. <laughs>